Hello, welcome to Asian Patriot. Uh, we're standing in the Kia Bit 3060, which is Kia's flagship store located in Gangnam, so South Korea. Yes, just like a Gangnam style. Um, because today I really wanted to show you this all new Kia Sedona. I know, I know. Uh, many, we showed you all new Kia Sedona many, many times, but this is quite different one. Uh, it's called a Kia Carnival High Limousines here in Korea. Do you see that? high limousine um, because it's got extended roof line so this guy's about 12 inches longer or taller compared to a regular Kia Sedona. If you're curious this guy will start around 54k US dollar starting price um, that's direct conversion while regular Kia Sedona starts around 28k US dollars so guys do let me know I'm going to show you the car throughout the day. Uh, so at the end of the show, guys, do let me know whether do you think it's worth twice money in the comment section. So it's going to be fun. So before we get, begin, if you love cars and car reviews, please do consider subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. And today we're going to do this through a live streaming. So if you have any question or anything you'd like to see, please do let me know in the comment section so let's get started sorry about the mask because it's inside COVID is getting really bad here in Korea so please excuse me um, let's start showing you the car from the side just like I told you it's got extended roof lines so we're going to show you inside pretty soon but let me just show you what is different from the side um, we have a footstep right here it's quite sturdy you guys don't know I'm 6'2 but it's quite sturdy and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a puddle lamp here. I don't think you guys can see it, but it says high limits in here. So if it was darker, I think you can see it. Um, anything different cosmetically from the side, we have a chrome moldings here and also on the top. And this one's all new for the uh, high limits in. They have added this chrome strip on the side. Um, so to differentiate it from the side. It's wearing continental uh, cross contact. So wearing 235, 55 by 19 on front and back. So rims do look pretty similar to any other Kia Sedona. Still has this uh, garnish on the seat pillow. So guys do let me know. I mean, it's, I'm getting kind of used to it. So let me know in the comment section. It's made out of uh, plastic FRP, sort of a, Thing, chrome strips so it looks generally very nice um, let me also show you the car from the rear so can you spot changes from the rear did you okay this low bumper the shape has been changed a little bit and it definitely says high limousine right here and carnival because Sedona's are called carnivals here in Korea um, says high limousine right here it also has curtains on the rear and on the side as well. Um, and they have added big old additional LED backup lamp right here. Um, can you see that? Shark's fin antenna on the top. So uh, if you're going to, uh, you know, somewhere, you know, down the tight spot, you have to be a little bit careful, I think. Um, so let me also show you the trunk quickly. That's also a 360 camera right there. And this high limousine comes with seven seats, two, two captain chairs in the middle and so like that, three more at the back. So if you're carrying a big golf bag, you can just put it down here straight up. So that'd be very nice, uh, you know, who, for the people who loves uh, golfing and stuff like that. So the third wheel does still weigh, still weigh like this. So whenever you have a large carry-ons, you can just uh, make it flat like this. Fire extinguisher here, same deal, 12 volt charger. And we also have some tools right here. Um, just like I told you, it's got curtains like this. It's mag magnets. So also slides like that so if you're like politician celebrity you can just block the sun and also you protect your privacy okay so let's uh, <coughs> excuse me 
show you the car from the side because this is where it all matters. Um, so this is the same seat. It's a seven seat with relaxation seats. And it also comes with thigh extension. So if you push this guy a little bit, a little bit stretching day for me, but if you do that, you know, I'm 6'2", but I can be really very comfortable back here like this. So it's a very nice. Um, I think I showed you this uh, through a regular Kia Sedona. It's a very comfortable seat to begin with. And like I told you, we have curtains here. So magnets, very nice. Uh, climate control. So what is so different about this car? Let me just show it to you. First of all, it's got air cleaner right here you see this so you can set it to low or high so if you have kids or you know if you want to stay in the car for a long time if you have to stay in the long time um, that's quite nice I should say um, we also have uh, two large cup holders here you can also cool it or heat it so you can have your coffee here or keep your Pepsi or Coke nicely refrigerated so that's pretty nice we also have just like any other Kia Sedona 220 volt charging 12 volt charging and nice double deck so you can put lots of stuff and one thing <coughs> more new thing is uh, we have a 12.5 inch screen right here um, is they also give you remote right like this so you can also uh, watch your smartphones because they have a USB charging port and HDMI here connector so you can just plug it in and whatever you can play playstations DVDs anything like this okay so that's pretty nice um, we also have a big LED center one right here and moon lamp all around and uh, you can also change the the brightness and color let me just turn down this one because see it's it's getting low oh i can't even turn it off so like that let's move to the side one um so let's change the color let me just show you each color that's white. I don't know, is it like a yellow, orange? That's like a greenish, blue sky, purple. That's another yellow. So you can also, just like any other Kia models, you can choose among like 64 different colors. Okay, so that's pretty nice. And um, what else did I miss? Um, there's also a mood lamp here, uh, but I don't know where is it, right? It's right here. <laughs> because they, they did not have a room on the roof, they have added sort of a pop-up tile style. And uh, the roof has been, um, you know, covered with some sort of uh, Arcantara, very nice. Um, and uh, we also have uh, four air vents on the top, right here. With also diffuse mode, so air won't blow on your head like this. So generally, um, you guys don't know I'm about six two. I cannot stand still, but you guys can see how much room I have. So if you have a kid, I think they can no problem stand still. But just headroom wise, I think this is really really makes a huge difference. So guys, do let me know what you think about it. We also have a you know this voice command button even from here um many says yeah uh, you know it's, it's too much hassle when you just you know say command and opens the door but it, you can also input your destination and do many things so i think it's quite convenient to have uh, this voice command from the rear so if you have any questions about the car from the second row seats do let me know in the comment 
section. Let me just read your comments and say hi. <laughs> yes, 50K, Idol's car for sure, politicians. Yes, it feels pretty premium inside because first of all, you have lots of room inside and um, you know, it's got TV up here, moon lamp. So it just generally feels quite nice. Oh. Coming to US, uh, I'm not sure. Um, just released here in Korea a few days ago. So hopefully you'll get to see this car in the US, but not really sure. Camping, yeah, this could be very nice for camping. Uh, this is popular among politicians and uh, celebrities here, like Idol's car, um, who have to um, have a Korean car, right? Although it's expensive, they have to appear in a domestic car and they really buy this car without hesitation. They're like, okay. Hard plastics, it's it's same carnival here. It's still hard plastic on the bottom, but above here, it's all nice material. But this is based on regular carnival, um, seven seater. Um, then, and then they tuned the upper part and added some MNTT, so yeah. Yeah, this is very comfortable, like, <laughs> hello Bradley, uh, it's very comfortable, um, it's very private, um, but it's got everything you can ask from a Kia Carnival. So let me just show you the first row seats. Guys, do let me know if you have any questions about the, the car, okay? Okay, let me show you what is different from up here. Um, can you spot the changes? Well, if you can see it, it's right here. They changed the added as a chrome strip looking pattern right here. It used to be uh, just wood trim, but they have added this part. So that's the main difference, but same deal. We have 12.3 inch gauge cluster, 12.3 inch for the infotainment screen. And um, they also have added this cup holder, heated and cooled right here for the first row seats as well, like this. So when you have a, you know, you can chill your Pepsi or Sprite and also heat your um, coffee. I don't know how hot it gets, but I, I think it just keeps it warm, okay? But other than that, it looks pretty much the same. Um, so let me know, what do you think about it in the comment section? Okay, so let me also show you the car from the front. So any changes? Can you spot changes? Well, definitely that big old hat on the top. But they also have painted this part. This is new for the limousine. This was like a black, um, unpainted, but they have changed, also changed the, the middle section as well. But other than that, it looks pretty much the same great looking grill in the middle some people think it's hideous but if you see it in person i think it looks quite nice for a minivan so let me know what you think about it it's drl here headlamp high beam and even fog lamp so do, do let me know if you have any questions about the car okay for the us say stone i'm not sure if you guys are going to get this but yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, 54K here in Korea, so it's not cheap. So, and Kia, I don't think Kia made this car for, uh, you know, people seeking inexpensive uh, transportation. This is for uh, VIPs, uh, you know, celebrities who is looking for a spacious interior with more private transportation. So. In that sense, I think, you know, Kia will think, you know, it won't be so competitive in the US or North American market. So, but it certainly um, wanted to show it to you guys because they display this cars for shortly and then they pull it out. So I really wanted to uh, show it to you guys. Um, this comes with a 3.5 liter gasoline engine right here. Made it to A speed automatic. Right here, this one makes about 294 horsepower, made it to eight speed automatic. Unfortunately, there's no all wheel drive for this all new Kia Sedona. Um, really wish Kia also have added all wheel drive system um, so that um, more people would be interested in buying this car. People like in Canada 
Alaska, stuff like that, but maybe in the future. So, any questions? Same engine, yes, this. But regular Kia Sedona comes also with 2.2 liter diesel, but this one, high limousine, does not have diesel. So I think that's a very good thought because, you know, who would be buying this expensive car wouldn't mind paying for the gasoline or petrol. So I think that's a very good thinking. Uh, logo, yeah, still same Kia logo. Um, once they change the logo, I'll make sure I'll show it to you guys, but still the same Kia logo. Yes, Isaac, uh, all-wheel drive would have been very nice. This is Carnival, yes, yeah, su super go Um This is called, Carnivals are called, I mean, Sedona's are called Carnivals here in Korea, so it's the same car. But this is called high limousine because it has a extended roof line and added some features to it. So, tail lamp looks like this. Like the same. Looks same as a regular. Let me just show you the back of lamp. So, that's the turn signal and this is back up. Okay? Third row. You want me to show you the third row? I'll show you the third row. The trunk and third row one more time. This comes with seven seats. Let me just show you the third row seats. <laughs> You guys know I'm 6'2", so it's going to be a little bit painful, but let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and it looks like this. So this is pretty far, this is all the way and this is pretty far and uh, you know, because we have lifted roof line. See, if, if, if the roof, roof wasn't lifted, it would be like this. But now because we have the extended roof lines, yeah, feels pretty good. And the leg room, you have to certainly talk to the second passengers. Like this is all the way, and this is kind of in the middle. So we can talk to the guy. And there's also a cup holder. USB charging port and curtain for your privacy too, for third row passenger. Speaker right here. Uh, it also has a intercom system. You can talk to the front passenger. You can certainly watch the TV from here too. So yeah, so not bad, third row seats. Yeah, that's a good, good point. Mm, Kia Sedona limousine, uh, Jaden. Um, to be honest, I never seen a Sienna Platinum Hybrid. I um, also wish this only Kia Sedona comes with hybrid. They have the tech, right? Because they have the 1.6 liter turbo based uh, on the all new Kia Sorento. They can certainly use that platform or engine on this uh, all new Kia Sedona. So really hope uh, you guys uh, get it. I mean, I, I heard you guys all getting the all new, uh, not all new, uh, new Hyundai Santa Fe with 1.6 liter turbo based hybrid so that's really nice we don't have that here in Korea yet so uh, hopefully by the time when you guys get this all new Kia Sedona you know Kia will also add the hybrid powertrain to this all new Kia Sedona uh, LED license plate no this comes with both type I'm sorry to say, birth type. So yeah, 54K starting price, birth type, come on, right? So let me know if you have any questions. Is he going to Europe? I'm not sure, uh, but hopefully yes. So if you do not have any questions, any chance of uh, releasing in US, I'm not really sure. Like I told you, this is quite expensive car. Uh, regular Kia Sedona starts around 28K, 
But this one starts around 54K US dollar direct conversion. Of course, there's no international pricing given yet, but uh, just like I told you, this is quite popular among politicians and idols who have to have impression, who has to be driving domestic cars. So they don't really care whether you charge 60K, 70K, they're gonna buy this car anyways because they need that impression and um, it feels quite nice inside. Um, but uh, will they export it to uh, North America? I'm not really sure because it's quite expensive and I think Kia will think, you know, it will be, won't be so competitive. But uh, let's wait and see uh, what happens. But just really wanted to show you guys this high limousine, all new Kia Sedona because you guys don't get to see this. Um, I mean, I don't get to see this car every day. So I really wanted to show it to you guys. Um, well, any more Kia? Any more Kia? Well, I think um, this is uh, actually Kia Bit 3060 uh, where they um, display lots of cars. This is flagship store here in Korea. They have Stinger, which I showed you. This is Cadenza, which I showed you. Kia K900, it's actually called K9. They don't say K900 here in Korea because K9 means uh, police dogs in US or North America. That's why they changed to K900, but we say K9 here. Uh, I, can, I think I can show you this one. I, I already showed you this one too. Um, Optima or K5, we showed you. Um, so there's lots of things. I think they're gonna make this uh, facelift version of the uh, K, K9, K900. So when it comes out, I'm gonna really show you. Uh, Many of you guys really wanted to see the um, new Kia Stinger with 3.3 liter twin turbo, but they don't have a press car with 3.3 liter twin turbo. Uh, they only have it with 2.5 liter turbo, which I showed you already. And uh, when I do get a chance, uh, yes, I will try to show you the car. It's okay. Camper van, Indiana Jones, they do have it. We showed you, uh, just type in Hyundai Porest, P-O-R-E-S-T, not Porest. With, with one L, Hyundai, P-O-R-E-S-T. And we have the video about uh, Hyundai's camping car. They do have one, okay? So, all right guys, uh, if you are not, don't have any questions, I think I'm going to uh, just end this live streaming and stay tuned because we'll be able to show you the all new Genesis GV80 next Tuesday, uh, which is, let's see, eighth. Eight here in Korea. We didn't get invitation yet, but on the Genesis homepage, it just says they're gonna premiere the car on the eighth. So for you guys, it will be on Monday afternoon. So stay tuned for that as well. And uh, I think I'll also show you Maserati MC20 tomorrow. So stay tuned. A little bit later time than this, but uh, stay tuned for that, okay? So gas mileage, um, this should be very, similar to any other Kia Sedona's, but, uh, oh yeah, it's quite bad, okay. So seven seats, it's getting about 8.4 kilometers per liter. Um, you know, I'm not good with math, so 8.4 kilometers per liter. We're also gonna make a edited video, so we're gonna, you know, convert that and put that in the video as well, okay. So thank you guys so much. Uh, this has been a quick, uh, look with all new Kia Sedona uh, with lifted roof line. So thank you guys so much. And before you leave, if you love cars and car reviews, please do consider subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.